everyone welcome back to the channel um, we're finished the Titanic is complete um, the clone fake Chinese replica Titanic finished and wow I had a few issues the last section was a bit of a nightmare so if you've watched the previous videos you'll see that everything was going quite well um, no missing pieces all that sort of stuff still have no missing pieces to be fair I've not had any issues with missing pieces but I have had problems with the pieces and yeah it, it's been a bit of a nightmare the finished product still looks absolutely amazing but as you'll see um, I've had a few issues with it as well since it's been finished with bits falling off and yeah things just keep trying to pop away so anyway stay tuned I'll go through it all with you now and here we go okay everyone welcome back um, as you can see everything's all finished the Titanic is complete um, there we go you can see everything's looking great still looks good still looks exactly the same as the Lego version still looks exactly like the Lego Titanic um, I did have quite a few issues with the last that, the last box I should say um, this final section so basically it comes in two pieces the last box is basically this section and then this piece right at the back with the propellers um, and the, the bow is it the bow or the stern I think it's the stern <laughs> don't know much about ships anyway the the very back piece I had quite a few problems um, basically the Lego um, or the the bricks that I, that I was given they um, they changed for some reason and the bags that they came in changed as well and I've actually got the bags here to show you so all of the Titanic basically from the front all the way back to here as all the bricks have come in these bags which are quite sort of crispy and then all of a sudden they changed to these bags which are a lot softer um, and they're a bit like the bags you get money in from the bank and basically the pieces were different um, the, I, I can't put my finger on exactly what it was but they were just different um, some of the shades of the colours were slightly different as well um, I don't know if you can see if I zoom in there I'm not sure how well it will show up on here but you can see that piece there is a slightly different shade of yellow to that piece and inside the ship there's quite a few pieces like the blues it was like the blues the greens the yellows there's slight just ever so slightly different and I found some of the longer pieces were were bowing like there was a bit of a bow they were bent and it, it caused a nightmare when I was putting this thing together I'll, I'll put a little clip in now of some of the bowing that, that was there on, on some of the longer pieces and what was happening was when you were putting everything together and getting it inside the ship it just wanted to pull itself apart um, and yeah it was just a bit nasty to be honest and I found this whole back section just didn't want to go together as well as as the rest of it has and I think it was because of, of these pieces that came in these bags now they did eventually switch back to these bags um, so the very last bit it did go back but it was like there was I don't know just a couple of bags where the pieces were different which is, is strange I just find it really really strange um, anyway I got it all together in the end and it still looks amazing like I say there's a, there's a couple of bits that I know are there that aren't quite right but unless you know where they are you, you wouldn't see them um, now since I've built it I have had some other problems with it falling to bits basically um, yeah I, I've moved this thing to, um, it's been in and out of the car about three times because I've I've taken it to work and I've taken it to show a couple of people and it doesn't travel very well and we've had a bit of a heat wave here in the UK and what I found was when it was in the back of the car and it got quite warm it, it just went a bit soft and it just really it just wanted to fall to pieces and I, I was having really big problems with like the, the funnels falling off all of these bits on the top just you know you so much as look at them and they fall off um, I've had problems at the back here 
I've had all this fall off. Um, the lifeboats, you know, it just. Oh, I actually, I tell you, another piece that I had was at the front here. So this whole section here just fell off and fell to pieces. So it's actually when it's warm, it really, really is quite fragile. Um, yeah, and I suppose that's what you get for using cheaper bricks and not the real Lego. Because I'm presuming that all these problems that I'm finding, I wouldn't have had if I'd had the proper Lego set. So yeah, um, I can see now why it's £300 cheaper or £350 cheaper. These bricks are definitely not the same standard as Lego bricks by quite a way. That said, it does look amazing and it does look like the Lego version. So. I mean, I suppose if you were just going to build this and then put it in a display cabinet and never touch it again, then I presume you'd be okay. Uh, but if you're planning on playing with it or moving it around or transporting it, yeah, um, I'd be very careful because it, it's very, very fragile. Um, almost to the point where I don't really want to move it anymore because I'm sick of stuff falling off it. Um, so for me this is going to go somewhere and stay there and not be touched <laughs> otherwise it's going to fall apart um, but yeah apart from that it looks absolutely brilliant I'd say if you're on a budget and you're just going to build this thing and put it in a cabinet then go for it but if you do want that extra quality and quality means everything to you then I'd suggest you buy the Lego version for £550 because it's probably going to go together a little bit better than this. But anyway, I'm done with this one now. Um, the next project I'm working on is going to be the Ferrari Daytona. Actually, while I'm just saying that, look at that there. Can you see what I mean? How that's come away? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to do the fake Lego Ferrari Daytona next so I'm just waiting for that to arrive and then I'll uh, I'll post some videos on that and how that goes but yeah um, I'm done with this one and I hope you've enjoyed the videos and I hope this has given you a bit of an insight into uh, whether or not to buy a clone or a fake Chinese replica Titanic um, as opposed to the Lego version uh, for me I'd do this again if it was me I'd still buy the clone version because despite the problems I've had it's it still saved me a lot of money so for me I don't think it's worth the extra £350 for the Lego version that said let's see what the Ferrari goes together like see if that's falling apart as well because <laughs> like I said this thing you can tell that it's not real Lego it's just you know as it's moved around i can just see where things are starting to come away and you know it's it's just not quite right and i'm going to be forever pushing bits back in and yeah but still it was brilliant really enjoyed it a lot better than i thought it was going to be and uh, overall very very happy so thanks for watching come back soon and i'll be posting the fake lego ferrari Daytona and let's see how that goes but for now that's me done cheers guys see you in the next one right that's it from me guys thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed it hope it's been informative um, yeah overall the verdict is fake Lego is fake Lego it's not as good as the real stuff by quite a way but then it's a third of the price so pros and cons pros and cons weigh up what you think it's worth and whether you think it's worth buying um but yeah thanks for joining me and i'll see you in the next one cheers <laughs>